Hey guys, girls, ladies and gentlemen, this is Stefan speaking to you once again, and this is episode number six of the Chatbot Page Hacks series. Now, what we are going to discuss is basically the handover protocol. And what this is, this is actually a setting that you can see inside your Facebook page right here. And by clicking on settings, I just navigate it to uh, the settings page. And all I need to do is go to advanced messaging right here here now this is important if you are going to use more than one facebook app on your facebook page or perhaps you are currently already using more multiple facebook apps on your facebook page and this is where you actually want to be uh, especially if those apps are um, doing some thing with your messaging uh, API from your page, right? So this is uh, something we need to take note of. Um, right there under connected apps, you can see the apps that we have uh, connected right here. We have uh, for this particular Clever Messenger page, we obviously have the Clever Messenger app connected and the developer app, which we use for testing. Now, we don't have the um, page or, or I should say handover protocol uh, set up for this particular page, but we do have it set up for other pages. Now, let me just uh, show you where this setting is. So let me do that once again. It's right here under app settings and there it says manage the features each app can access or control. Now, if I click on configure right here, the primary receiver for handover protocol is Clever Messenger and I can select a secondary receiver for handover protocol right here as well. Now. I can go for the page inbox as well. Uh, that's there by default, but I can also choose for the uh, other application right here as well. Now what's cool and why you want to consider ultimately using this, perhaps um, let's say that there is a use case, right? Of um, you having a not, uh, an app that actually uh, does your chatbot stuff uh, like Clever Messenger and you have a, another app you want to use for your live agents, your support agents. Let's, let's say there's, um, there's a bunch of other apps that actually only provide a platform that uh, connects all those social media tools or platforms together in, uh, in terms of live chats, right? So you have WhatsApp, Messenger, Instagram uh, Direct, um, Telegram, all these live chats combined into this one platform and you want to use that for your support agents, right? Then you need to uh, make sure that you set it up correctly. Now in this particular use case, you want to have the chatbot uh, basically catch most of the questions. So 80% uh, of the questions are basically questions uh, that can be answered fast and easy by a chatbot and then have those other 20% uh, of people needing a little bit more human attention and direct those to the second app, basically the other, uh, where the handover comes into play, right? Um, all you need to do is basically connect both the apps right here to your Facebook page and then uh, select right here which app is going to have the primer is going to be the primary receiver for the handover protocol and the secondary receiver for the handover protocol. Now with that said, there's, there is an easy uh, article right here, which goes more over handover protocols. This uh, actually says the messenger platform handover protocol enables two or more Facebook apps to participate in a conversation by passing control of the conversation between them. This feature can be used in many ways to enrich your messenger experience. For example, um, to the pro this protocol makes it possible to a page to simultaneously use one Facebook app to build a bot for handling automated responses and another Facebook app for customer service with live agents. Well, what do you know? It's exactly the same scenario I've just um, and given you uh, as well at the start of this video. And uh, let's just finish this off, guys. Uh, by default, all messages are sent to the primary receiver app when control of the conversation is passed to another, the messenger platform will send messages from the conversation to it instead. Only one app may control the conversation at a time. Uh, this is only logical because you don't want to have two chatbots, uh, two apps that are actually uh, um, managing your chatbot stuff to send out messages. This results in duplicate messages. This results in uh, a lot of weird things going on inside your Facebook app. So always go with one 
app that has the primary receiver uh, set to on. You may continue to listen to the conversation by subscribing. Yeah, so the other app always listens uh, if you allow it to do so. So this is a, a nice little uh, table right here. Uh, the primary receiver can um, pass the threat control, take threat control, standby channel. And uh, the only thing it cannot do is request the threat control that is actually done by the secondary receiver. So how this works in a technical standpoint, let's say that there is a person that needs human attention. Um, and they do this by clicking on a uh, on a button that says connect me to a human. At that point, we can have the secondary receiver res uh, a request for the threat control and all automations are temporarily stopped and the chat is happening with the live agent. Okay, very, very easy stuff. Um, once you put this into practice to explain, it's just a little bit, um, it's, it's something to wrap your mind uh, around. So yeah, with that said, I think that covers the handover protocol. It's something you do need to know, especially if you have been trying a lot of other chatbots, uh, creation uh, and marketing suites out there as well. Uh, your page might be full with connected apps and you, to be honest, want to remove the ones you are not using anymore and make sure that the ones you are using is uh, using the um, the primary receiver. Yeah, so um, this way you make sure that those other uh, tools you don't even work with anymore get that data. You don't want that anyways. Um, and make sure that the one, the app you are actually working with is getting the data and can actually do all that glorious stuff. Yeah. All right. Uh, that's it. This was Stefan speaking to you. This was episode six. Uh, I'm going to do one more episode after this. And uh, that's going to be about the automated responses. All right. Thanks for watching this video and I will catch you in the next one. Bye for now. Yeah.